Hey folks, hi guys and girls and so and who is watching, I have another video. I like to buy, no, I liked with ED, I like to buy ciabatta. You know that this is from Italy, this bread was quite nice to eat in the evening with a glass of wine and just a piece of cheese or salami or so or whatever. Uh, then I check out and I think make myself. I did that now a couple of times and it works quite well. I will show you now. So first what we do is we do the basic. All right. You know already. Yeah. Dry yeast we use. That's easy way. Because the, the fresh one you don't get here in Bangkok. Difficult. So two, two spoons, two tablespoons of this. Then of course the water, mineral water we use is better. The tap water you must look when you have the strainer integrated in your faucet also and you take it and you're wondering why the water is floating not properly. Oh my God, of course. <laughs> because I tell you, it's a lot of dirt inside. So we start like the normal bread as well here with this. Dissolving, it will dissolve anyway. We put more in ingredients inside. So, and this ciabatta from Italy, they're different style. You can buy them from the Italian shop. They sell it around uh, a kilo price of, you want to know? The kilo price is 10 bucks starter. Then they have it, I, I, I saw it, I saw it. Nice, nice place, nice uh, ciabatta, but they, they, one, one dollar twenty for a hundred gram is a slice. So, this my pop is gone and dollar, one dollar is gone. <laughs> so five bucks, you need only four piece of bread. No, no, no. Hold up. Now, what we do first, you remember, is the salt. So we do again like this. I do it by my hand. So. forgotten you look what I do this packs what you you throw it you buy some electronic device you throw it no you take it and put it here and it doesn't stick and you can do it with herbs with every everything you do you look in the yeast I have the same and when you look in my other cabinet I put the same no riga no in whatever you have so what we do next sugar you need always a little bit sugar so a tablespoon or so or yeah so this is now what is it this is now the water the yeast and uh, a little no the flour we have not started yet because uh, the uh, what is it called the yeast needs some Food. And what we also do is our yeah this slimy dabi dooby dee two spoons of this is not to compare uh, with the starter of the wine, folks. I make wine, and then it becomes this young wine. It's called. Uh, uh, we call it in Germany Federweiser, even in English called Federweiser. I, I check it out already. Whoa, you should try it. Beautiful. No rip off anymore. <laughs> so now we first make this one like the last time. You remember when I make the normal bread? But we have a little bit changed what's coming inside. Yeah. So and this one will soon start bubbling. Then you know 
it starts working. Da, I see it. Hey, you know what it means when it's bubbling? Here, yeah, the bubbling. Tuck, 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 tuck. That means, huh? You know what it means? That makes this holes in the bread. Pack, 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 pack. And this one is actually the process of the yeast with the flour. So now you can use a dark oil so uh, when you like it not so strong. Olive oil. I use this one today. Extra virgin olive oil. Uh, Contment white truffle flavored. They, they have really white truffle inside. It's quite expensive. This small bottle is around eight bucks, but I use it two, three spoons. So three spoons of this nice, beautiful truffle olive oil. Yeah, let's smell. Ah, yeah. So what we do inside else, huh? Surprise, surprise. We don't make the regular ciabatta. We made today a special one. If you don't like it, okay, but don't worry, it will all be mixed properly. We will add five, six olives. I quarter them because if you put the whole olive inside, one bite is an olive and the other one no. This is a little bit uh, better. Oops, that I don't want to do. Never mind, we have a tissue. And you know the clove from the garlic. I slice it like this. Make long. It will be not intense because from the baking process. But it is nice. We put here also inside. So we have now one of these and six olives inside. Ah, interesting, yeah. You can also put, you can also dry some olives. You put a net in the sunlight, here, especially in Thailand, it's very hot. You air dry it outside with a net over it so no fly come, come on it. Also fruit flies, right? So, and then what you do, you dry the so, uh, tomato. Otherwise it has too much water inside. And that's not good. So, and now we add approximately a half kilo of flour. So, of course we need more water, but for the moment I start like that. Ah, you see how it sticks already. And after you do the same as a normal bread, you put it somewhere on the one place covered with the kitchen towel. You can make the kitchen towel wet if you want. Make it moist. But actually, so we need more water. Mm. Until you remember, it is like the... what happened now it's almost nice now we go with the hand inside of course you will need some more flour get some flour more just a normal one I add, when I when I add flour to this uh, dough I use 50 gram, something like that, 30, 50 gram, because it's easy to estimate and second, it's not too much on one at once. So 
Don't forget the dough like to have it like a massage. And it's good when it feels equally dissolved everything and absorbed and it's not sticky and so on. Uh, sometimes you see the coming out an olive, that's normal. Ah, you see the olive pack pack sprinkled around is quite good <laughs> that's my new exercise my new spot here in the corners is some flower you take it out and it will be all gone and you see it doesn't stick on the plastic pot I I can use stainless I use sometimes but actually in the plastic is not disturbed the dough is not disturbed by the antibacterial feature of stainless steel oh here yeah. it doesn't stick on the hand and it is also good the next step is let the door sleep. Yeah. Wow. This one we take out later. Then we massage and kneel it again before we take it out. Or we can do also now. Hmm. Not so much on my fingers, I mean it's good. A little bit in shape. You remember what's coming now? The kitchen towel. And we let it uh, work and grow. See you later in the part two where we continue to bring it in shape.